I love being out in nature and going for a walk in the woods because I find that I'm always on the go and my head is full of thoughts all the time of things that I need to do or things that I want to do and I have so many ideas in my head all at once so it can feel quite overwhelming but when I'm in nature it calms everything down and this is how it can be for dyslexic children that if they're in class and they get asked a question about say animals they can have loads and loads of thoughts all at once and it's really hard for them to get them out and when they do get the answer out it can be jumbled chaotic and the answers can jump around from subject to subject so dyslexic kids need a way to get their ideas focused and a way to do this is to use something called a mind map you may have done this before what I did was I took the idea of mind map and I turned it into a thought tree. And I've got a card for this in my dyslexic mum kit. Now the thought tree is a great fun way for a dyslexic child to get their ideas out. So first of all, they do a trunk and they write the subject in the trunk. So if their subject is animals, that's what they would write. Then they would draw four to five branches coming off the tree. And on each branch, they would write the first words that popped into their head when they think of animals. So on one of the branches, they might write bears. So then they would take the branches and split them up further. So for the bears branch, they might have three twigs coming off it. And they would write three things to describe bears. So things like big, furry, claws. And then they can also draw pictures around the tree to help them get their ideas out. Or they can use collage and stickers. I did this with my little girl to get her to practice doing it. And we did it based on me, which is her and what she was interested in. So she put down things like holiday, fun, kind and happy. We split kind into, well, how are you kind? Well, she's kind to animals and she's kind to her sister. And we've stuck on some stickers to help her um, talk more about the different things that she wrote on the branches. And this is great. These maps can also be used in class to help children take notes. So rather than having to write big blocks of written information, they can take notes quite easily, just jotting them down really quickly, adding more branches when they hear some more information and adding it to the map. Then at the end, when they've got the map, they can use this then to do some writing and to answer questions. 